Howdy folks, Grayson here from Wildwoods Beekeeping. It's March 6th, it's 80 degrees Fahrenheit today, and it is a nice, warm March 6th evening, and today it's going to be a fun day. We're going to be making some splits. Maybe you're a beekeeper who wants to expand your bee yard and say, maybe I should just raise my own nukes, make my own nukes, make my own freebies from the hives that I have at my own the apiary instead of going out to somewhere else and buying nukes from somebody else make your own right so today i'm going to be sharing with you the method i was talking about in my recent video about taking four frames of brood put them in a nuke today i'm going to be showing you that method show you how i do it what kind of brood patterns i like and how many bees you need in that five frame nuke to make the good queen cells you want Let's go ahead and delve right into it and learn more about this splitting method that I am talking about. This is the hive that we're going to make our split out of. Look here, we got some hive beetles. Hive beetles are just starting to come out. This hive is being full of them. Hive beetles are annoying little creatures and here's one on the side I love smashing them I'll just sit out here all day and smash these little hot beetles that's not really good but at the same time this is a super I just added so they're they're all up here and I'm using drawn foundation up here from a hive that I took the super off of during winter we're gonna pull up a few frames just to show y'all how good these bees are at storing up honey this is one of my Russian halves, and this, well, we're going to make another Russian half just because it's a good half, so, and, you know, I really enjoy this half. See, this thing's a heavy old frame of pollen and nectar. Real heavy. We're going to go to a few next frames. This is, this is the main one that they're having a lot of nectar in. And plus, I'm not feeding one-to-one -one sugar water. I do not like to feed one-to-one -one sugar water while, feed, while having a super arm. It just makes them store up the one-to-one -one sugar water in here, and you don't want your food, your one-to-one -one sugar water, to go to their honey nectar source where you extract the honey, and they're using your one-to-one -one sugar water instead of pollen or nectar. Another frame of nice nectar. See, they're not capping it off because it's not yet ready to be capped. First, they need to do a few things, like make sure all the... Uh, Nectar is brought down to a certain percentage. Well, then they're going to cap it off. Once this honey is capped, we'll extract it. But for the time being, we're going to let them do their thing with their little with the little super. We're going to get to the. This is the bottom deep here. We're going to get into this thing. I can bet you that this is going to be heavy. Probably list this down pretty good, so it's be a little bit of a challenge to get it up, get it off of here. Come on, there we go. Well, this thing is heavy. Sit it on this crate for the time being. There's about five, six frames of bees in the super. Smoke bees. I marked this queen white. My Russian queens are going to be marked white, while the other queens are going to be marked blue, like my Italian. We're going to lift this frame up. We're going to get in here and get out. Put, I'm going to take about four frames of brood and put them in a small, small five frame nuke. They already have some capped honey down here. If I can even get this frame up. Probably smashing some. Yep, probably smashed a few bees there because they're, they're, they, they built this stuff out pretty big. Yep, this this is a lot of bees dribbled in honey. This frame we don't want. This is just honey. We may use this for a resource. There's drones, big old drones right over here. Set this frame aside. There you have it. This is the hive, and this is the one I want to make a split out of. And this is the five frame nuke we're going to be using. Let me go ahead and smoke these bees. 
these bees are just get they get aggravating. Like my oh, my last video, they were angry. We're going to get in here and get get out pretty fast. We're gonna figure out which frame I'm gonna use and put it in a nuke. Plus, this house needs some room because there's a lot of eggs being laid. Now look at this. If I can even get this thing upright. Look at this. Look at this nice brood pattern. There's a lot of... I see some eggs down there. Oh, wow. This is a good laying pattern. This is a fabulous queen. I'm really, really... I really like this queen, so I'm not going to requeen them. Just because they're Russian. Even though they're Russian, it don't matter to me, really. Okay, we're going to take this because there are some queen cups being made. Uh, like, like I said, this hive is making a lot of queen cups lately, and I am on the verge of thinking that they're swarming, and look, they're on the bottom, so that means they're probably fixing to start thinking about swarming. So this is going to be a good frame, because they have some queen cups, they can reuse that, and, oh, just accidentally smashed the bee, that's not good. Let me get that out of here. So we're going to put this in our five frame nuke right in the center. There's also some eggs. Take some of these frames off. Put that aside, these frames aside. I am going to put this lid back on so then they don't start running away because they're going to try to go fly back to the original hive. So close that up for the time being and get another frame for the for our split. And it looks like we got another cell. It almost looks like it's capped. You know, you know, I don't think they're gonna swarm just yet, but they're they're probably thinking about doing it. So at this point, if they're thinking about splitting, I may take the queen and put her in that little nuke over there if this thing is capped. It just looks capped, but may not be. Nope, it's not capped. There's one on the side. We're looking for cap cells as well. But cups still indicate that they're probably thinking about swarming. Larvae. So we're going to also put this frame in our little nuke. Let's make sure we don't got a queen. We would not want to take the queen in here. No, no queen. Put this in here. This top cover back on. Okay. Got three frame, two frames so far. Smoke them down. We're gonna keep on continuing to find some more frames. This frame is one I'm gonna put aside. We're gonna put it at the end. So if the queen would like to lay, she can. Okay. Brood. More, a lot more cat brood. We're also gonna put this frame in here. And since we got a lot of cat brood, Good for that. Wallabies clustering on top. There's a lot of brood in here. I'm going to make sure they haven't already swarmed because, you know, I'm not sure if y'all can see the nuke, but here it is, and you're kind of getting the glimpse of an idea of what I'm doing with this little, let's pull this frame back up. I marked this queen right white, so we should be able to see if there's a queen in here, and she may be on this frame right here, a drone brood that I put in here, so she may be there, I have no idea. 
Now we may go ahead and put this frame in there. We're gonna. I'm picky about which frames I put in because I need good frames. Go ahead and put this in here. Make sure there's no queen. There's no queen, no white dot queen, so it means they're gonna have to make their own queen, which is the way I like it. And that gives the queen more room in the old house to lay and for the bees to build. Okay, there you go. That's gonna be our nuke, folks. put this to a side for time being and I got some drawn foundation we're gonna put in the top just to replace all that that we took so this is some drawn foundation that I'm gonna put in here that this is just gonna replace it and so then the queen can lay quicker because if I just let them draw some drawn some foundation out it's gonna take them just a little bit to get it so then the queen's gonna have to wait for open cell too late. This has a little water in it, but it'll be fine. You never know. This this swarm, this half could have already swarmed, but I don't think so. From at the stage I see, there's no cap queen cells in here, from what I can see. So I really highly doubt that they swarmed yet. So let me smoke this half so I can put these frames in here. This is still a lot of bees in here. This is just going to give the queen more room to lay. It should be better. This is a frame of... Oh, food. Nothing much on here. Okay. We'll put this back in. This one right here. Put this one in. We're done. Let's go ahead and put this super pack on. Oh. Oh. Getting stung by a bee. Let me get my half top. And now, now I got stung by a bee. I just gotta take that stinker out. Of course, it didn't sting me. It just stung my uh, glove, which didn't do nothing to my glove. Or to me in that case. Take it out. There you got it. These bees are mad. We're gonna put them up. They don't like me in here. That's how you do a split, folks. On my recent video, I talked about it. This is how you do it. It's real simple, as y'all could see. It does take a little time, but do that three times with some halves. Maybe you have a double deep. You get a lot of halves out of that and get a lot of bees. Like look here, there's a lot of bees. This, this nuke is filled up to the max. It's okay if we lose some workers, because it doesn't matter. And I'm smashing a lot of bees. Oh, I wish I didn't smash as many bees. And look, there's so many bees at the entrance. And we're, not, we're gonna put this thing aside. Let's go ahead and get this thing to somewhere, to a new location, guys. There you go. We got our nuke here. We're all going to make a new queen. There's bees here, and they're going to start flying back. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show y'all. So somebody in the comments of my video, when I was moving the hive, said to lay some pine straw out in front of the hive, like this. So then the bees have to reorientate and they won't go back to the old hive. And I thought that was pretty smart. Make sure you leave a few openings. This is pine straw. So they can still breathe in here. There's cracks all up in here. There's still air in here. It's not going to be bad for the bees. And this will make the bees not leave. And the bees will drag all this out by themselves. But I'm going to come back later. You can come back at night and remove it that way. 
You can just remove it at night whenever they're not active. These bees that are outside will probably go back to their original hive. But here you go. This is how you make yourself a split. It's easy, simple. It is 100% free. If you guys enjoyed, please give me a thumbs up. This was some hard work to get this video out there, get this video filmed. It's hot out here. I'm going to go ahead and get back out to the house, cool down. We'll catch you on the next video, fellas. Take care, everybody.